actually, Sartre gives uh, three sort of uh, what emotional in, or anxious or heightened emotional stances because of our freedom, right? The first one is anguish. So distress or pain. This is, I, I am wholly responsible for everyone. This concrete universal thing means that like my stance is, is like, this is what a human should do, right? So, and I am not following anyone. So I'm the one that is telling, like by my actions, I'm the one that is in bringing into the world the measure of humanity. That's a heavy weight. Because I mean, this is what I'm. This is what humans should do. Look at me, because I'm doing it. This is what humans should do. And it's not like, I mean, it's it's not like I'm telling everybody to do this. But what, why wouldn't I? I mean, by doing it, this thing, I am making this value concrete, which means that this is the value that I'm choosing as a human, which means that this is a choice worthy human value. But is it? I, there's no answer. There's no final, you know, God, is this a right answer? Oh, that's right. He's dead. Uh, is, there a right, is there a right answer to what I'm doing here? No. So I am exemplar, that is to say, like the measure, but without any other example. So it's a heavy weight. It's all on me. Everything I do is something like this. Here's what a human should do. And if I do not take that stance, if I do not take that stance seriously, something like bad faith. And we'll talk about that when we get to uh, being in nothingness. It's sort of like fooling myself. You know, no, I'm not. No, I can sort of step out of all of humanity and kind of do my own thing and then kind of what step back into humanity and, and then start up again or something like that. Uh, you know, this... It doesn't count, right? So, anguish. Then there's forlornness, right? So, without touchstone, without absolute. So, here's, again, there's no answer. So, everything, there's, there's no thou shalt not. So, is murder all right? Is murder not all right? That answer is not given. One way or the other. So, who determines that answer? This guy. Right now. Is suicide permissible? Yep. Do I want to do that? Who determines it? This guy, right now, and now, and now, and now. <clears throat> do I lie? Do I cheat? Do I steal? There's, there's no prohibition. If I, if I want, I choose that. If not, I choose otherwise. What makes it, what makes it real or whatever is me. Now, the question becomes this, <clears throat> you know, how do I know I'm choosing right? And there is a, this is like, this is, Milo-Ponty calls it a, a retrograde movement of the true. Uh, sorry, I put that here, but sorry, it doesn't call it that, but it's, it's a vicious circle. You don't know what's right. You don't know whether the things you've chosen are right until after you've chosen them, right? Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. I'll tell you later. <clears throat> right? Is it right to uh, be against the war? Is it right to be for the war? You know, whichever one, you know, there's no answer in advance. Is this the right person for me to be in a relationship? Is, is Should I end that relationship with that person? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I take that job? Should I do this sort of education? Whatever. The answer is not given in advance. So you, you, you choose it and live it into its truth or false, you know, you live, in, it's true or false, but not so much, it's right or wrong. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, or I should, I'm glad I did that. So, no answers in advance. You choose the life, and then the life gives you the, the value of that choice as it unfolds. So, I mean, there's really even no stopping that. You know, was that the right choice? No, but then 10 years later, was that the right choice? Yeah. Was that the right choice? 30 years? No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. You know, it can change. I mean, it's never like one thing. But not living it is, it means nothing. So choosing it is everything. 
and not choosing is also a choice that thank you rush um that's a song from uh, rush but you know so just sitting on the couch doing nothing nah, is still like a choice so no matter what you are making yourself your future and all of humanity so this is why there's anguish and forlornness and uh, despair. Um, despair. Now, oh, we'll talk about that. So despair. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, I guess Sard has said in an interview, you know, I've never felt despair or forlornness or anything in my life. But what he's trying to do is describe the nature of this, this freedom, right? And so... In other words, freedom is just not a, like just a happy little choice because it, it's like, you know, you know, this shirt or that shirt or something like that. It, it's more about making a value and a life concrete and not only mine, but human life. So that's why he talks about it as it having such a heavy weight. And so like, you know, forlornness and, and anguish, so forth. So despair. There's no guarantees, Right. Uh, there's no guarantees that the thing that I'm choosing will come to fruition. There's no guarantee that my action will make any changes. There's no guarantees that anybody else is going to choose with me. There's no guarantees that my choice will will continue in history. It might get thrown, contradicted, thrown out, and become like nothing. Well, comparatively. So, but there's no guarantees. I mean, is this right? Is this wrong? Whatever. No. I mean, it's like no. It, there's no answer. Stop asking. There's no answer to that. Is this right or wrong? Just, you got to do it. Live it to get there. So without guarantee, I have to do something. Um, so so what? If there's no guarantees, why not just go like hang out or, or like do nothing or sex, sex, rock and roll hedonism, right? That would be still to bring into the world the value of humanity. Here's what humans should do. Boy, when they're when they find something tough that, that is difficult and their freedom is tried, sex, drugs, rock and roll. That's the answer you give? Well, that was that's tough. I'm gonna go get it or you know, get high and have orgasms or something. Instead of instead of living. So making concrete those sorts of that sort of life is a response. So there's no there's no non-action. There's no non-engagement. If you got breath coming in and out of your lungs, you're engaging, right? And if you find that freedom is daunting so that you run away from it, run towards simple pleasures, run towards the loss of freedom, well then, I mean, you're still, you're still choosing and bringing about a value. Right. And here's this thing. This is this is this has got teeth. Right. So gird your self-esteem here. Right. Because this this is this this is going to come at you. We are nothing but the things we have done. And the things that we have done are whole are us completely, but not totally. OK, completely, but not totally. But like a total part. In other words, I cannot cast them off, but they do not define my next step, right? So murderer, rapist, and drug drug addict, my, my history, I am never not them, but I can become something other than just them, okay? So <clears throat> that's one thing. My, 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 my past is never cast off, but uh, and my future is always you know, a matter of choice. You know, I just, I just to continue on that point, excuse me, <clears throat> to say that we are nothing more than what we've done, to say that we are nothing more than, than our actions, is to say something like this, there is no reservoir of value that hasn't been lived into the world. Okay, so the, the expression, you are what you, um, whatever you, you are more than what you've done you know this this isn't the whole of me I'm so much more than the things you see uh, you know this is not this facade is not true if we didn't do it we're, we can't claim it if we didn't 
bring the meaning into the world, then we didn't bring the meaning into the world, and so there's nothing. I'm not a writer if I haven't written. I'm not a lover if I've never loved. You know, there's no other excuses. There's nothing else to me than the things that I have done. So now, <clears throat> like, so my potential things into the world, my future creations are still nothing if they're not created yet. So do I have value as the thing that could create future things? That's just freedom now. So, so it doesn't have value until it's brought into the world. Potential bringing into the world is just freedom now. So I, I, don't, get to, I don't get praised for what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I shouldn't praise myself for what I've never done. You know? And no excuses. You know, well, I was brought up this way. I didn't have that. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. and and this this can be difficult. I mean, it's sort of granted that if you've grown up in America in a white bourgeois community with a great high school, then you have everything you need to get into college. No excuses. If you have all of these other things, you know, maybe that's not the case for everybody. So, but excuses would be. Excuses of self, anyway, right? So that that you know, m maybe you could have. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go down that path because, uh, like, accusing somebody who doesn't have all of the, <clears throat> the you know, happy prerequisites for successfully financial and education uh, educational life. Uh, to sort of accuse them of just like not trying hard enough or not having the will or, or being cowards regarding their freedom or something like that. I don't want to be doing any of that. So, but start, I mean, this is, this is teeth. This has teeth. So like I'm saying, if you, if we are not the things, there's no excuses. If I haven't done it, it's because I didn't do it. And if I didn't do it, I am not it. Oh, I'm a great musician. If only I had that, that, that. Nothing. I'm not. I'm none of that. Okay. So uh, that's that's enough on um, uh, the humanism of existentialism. Uh, we'll move on now to uh, the nothingness.